Box plots are a new graph that we want to introduce, another method for visualizing data. And specifically what box plots do is visualize for us what's called the five number summary. For any data set, the five number summary consists of the smallest value in that data set, Q1, which is the first quartile, Q2, which is the second quartile, or again, the exact same thing as the median, the third quartile, and then the maximum data value in that list of numbers. So a box plot is just going to be a visual depiction of that five number summary. So for instance, in this first box plot on the left, <clears throat> we're graphing data from the Chicago Bears points per game for the 2012 regular season. What we have is this box with a couple of lines sticking off in either direction. So this box represents our three quartiles. So the left end of that box is Q1, the right end is Q3, and then that middle bar dividing the box is Q2, which is again the median. <clears throat> so since this box is the range from Q1 to Q3, that means that entire range, which would be the distance between Q3 and Q1 represents the interquartile range, that measure of spread that we introduced. So we have the interquartile range represented by this box, and then two lines sticking out to these fences. Those fences, in this case, represent the maximum and minimum values in our data set. The second box plot that we have is a similar idea. We still have the box representing the interquartile range. We have the fences extending out. But now we have these breaks, or we have a break here, and then these three separate dots. So here we're graphing the number of medals won by countries in the 2012 Summer Olympics. In this case now, this dot at the end is still our maximum value, since that's the largest value in our data set. There's nothing above that. Whereas this upper fence was originally our maximum value, now this fence is representing our maximum usual value. So in the five number summary, it's this maximum value, this dot that would be represented there, but the maximum usual value is separated as this fence and then broken apart, we have these three separate dots indicating three additional data points. So those three points that are set out by themselves, broken apart from the graph, are the outliers that have been identified in this data set. So with a box plot, we may have it stretching from our minimum to our maximum value, or we may have it stretching between a minimum usual and maximum usual value, and then any separated dots are outliers. So we could also have dots on the lower end, but in this case, we're not going to have any values less uh, less than zero. So we only have outliers on the high end here, and again, separated by those dots. One thing to notice about box plots, it includes the smallest value, the median, maximum value, but one very common measure that we take a look at in statistics or just in life is the mean of that data set which is specifically not included in this five number summary and not represented anywhere on the box plot. 